Hello, hello, hello everyone. I am here today to share with you my top favorite um, 20 items from 2012. I just want to say thank you again um, to Carol Ann who actually started this in the crafting community. Um, I think she started this 2010. Um, and I just want to say thank you to her for starting um, such a wonderful, I would say, tradition here on YouTube with the crafting community. So thank you again, Carolyn. Um, for those of you who do not know who Carolyn is, she is Logan's Crafty Mama. So you can go on over and check out her YouTube channel. But she actually started the 20 um, faves or your top faves for the previous year. So every year since she's done it, I have participated. So I just wanted to share with you my top items for 2012 that I either purchased or um, in 2012 or I just found myself using a whole lot in 2012. So one of the items that I purchased in 2012 and I love to use is my scraping easel. This is a great item for um, scrapbookers or card makers. They come with ma it's a magnet board and it's 12 by 12 sides. It comes with the ruler. However, to me, the ruler is um, not the best ruler to use because it's a little flimsy. But I bought extra magnets and it uh, sits up. And this is like really a great tool to have if you are a scrapbooker or even a card maker because it holds your items in place. So this is one of my items that I loved in 2012 that I purchased. Um, another item that I did not purchase, it was actually wrecked to me um, from Anika. It is the Martha Stewart mini scoreboard. This is great for card making um, or <coughs> excuse me, if you're doing a few things with Project Life and you need to um, score a couple of things this is a perfect item for um scrapbookers and card makers really a card making but it, you know a scrapbooker can use it i wanted to share with you my two favorite paper lines uh, my two favorite paper lines for 2012 is echo park i love echo park it just seems like to me as soon as they come out with a paper line I have to get it. I love the paper. I always loved it, but I found myself liking it more once I got into Project Life because it comes with the journal cards. Um, the papers are really nice, good quality, pretty pattern. So Echo Park is one of my top lines of paper that I choose to use. Another one of my favorite lines is um, Simple Stories. I think I own just about every simple story line there is. And I think I tend to like that as well because of the Project Life format. You really can do a lot with uh, this paper collection for your Project Life. It has a lot of the journal cards and the paper is pretty that they um, bring out. So those are my two favorite paper lines that I love. Um, another item that I got into, which was the wood veneers. Um, I purchased the, a lot of them from Studio Calco or either they came with kits from me being a um, member of their um, scrapbook kit each month. But these right here I purchased from a lady on the scrap yard. But I love wood veneers. You can, uh, you can ink them up. You can spray them change the colors, add glitter to them, whatever you want to do. But I love, love, love wood veneers. I like them. I like a lot. So this is, one, you know, a thing that I tend to use or grab with my layouts or my um, project life or even putting it on a cart. So these are a must-have for me. Another thing that... Um, is one of my faves. I seem to, I, I like stamps where it was never really into um, stamping. I would say, 
a lot prior to 2012. I mean, I own stamps, but it's not like I used them a whole lot. It seems as though in 2012, I started using my stamps a lot more. So my favorite stamping companies, as you all know, one of them is Technique Tuesday. I have always loved their stamps, and this was actually one of the first companies that I got a subscription with. I like sentiment stamps because to me, they're timeless. Um, they'll never go out. So I love sentiment stamps more than I like image stamps. So Technique Tuesday is my favorite. Uh, my second favorite stamp is the um, Hero Arts stamps and also the, the stamps that are just for um, Studio Calco. So these you can buy from like 2P, Studio Calco's website. So I love these because they are geared to Project Life. But I also like the sentiments that they have on here. So I would have to say that the Hero Arts and Studio Calco stamps is one of my favorites. And also, these are just the Studio Calco stamps by themselves, which is another one of my favorite stamp companies. And my last stamp company um, that I purchased is Close to My Heart. I like a lot of their stamps. They have been uh, making a lot of the stamps for 2012. Um, to go with the project life. So I have, would have to say that close to my heart is, you know, sneaking up there with making stamps that I really um, like. So those are the stamps that I love. Then um, another thing that I love is these Tom Holtz embellishments. Last year, Michaels had a great deal for their rewards members. Um, it was like 40% off, plus you got an additional, I think it was like 20 to 25% off that week for Tim Holtz embellishments. And I love his embellishments. I bought a lot. Like, I think I have like three containers like this of his embellishments. So Tim Holtz embellishments is one of my favorites. Another thing that I love, as you see, are these containers. I actually got these containers from Joann's it came in like a set of five and it was in this big container but I like containers like this because it's they're clear and they're great for storage um once you finish using something you can always replace it with another item so these are one of my top faves that I love for 2012 or storage containers like this that can you know fit inside of your craft room or you can just take it to a crop some of my favorite inks that I tend to always grab, okay. Um, one of my faves is Tim Holtz. I love Tim Holtz inks. They are um, pretty. The colors really match with a lot, a lot of different papers. Um, I, I like his um, Distress inks. Another thing that I bought for 2012, I bought it at... Uh, the CKC convention. I don't even think I did a haul for CKC, the items that I purchased. But I bought these Prima inks, and they are all of them except for the white, because I think the white one came out after um, I went to CKC, and I recently found out about the white one. But I bought uh, all of them. It was a big bag of them, and I bought all of them. They had it like a really good deal. It was like $20 off the whole big so these are good especially when you're inking up your wood veneers these are really good or if you're um just inking up the edges or something these are good and they're tiny one of my favorite ink pads for black ink or just a sentiment is versifying i found out about versifying in 2012 and this is my go-to ink i love it i actually would like to get some of the smaller ones uh, for 2013 um, to try out you know the color ones but this this I love this ink you have to try it it's really good for stamps another ink I want to try well I actually bought it I'm waiting to come with my studio calco kit is hero arts so I'm going to try that ink one of my favorite embossing powders um, some people are really into names but one of the embossing powders that I found to be really good is the recollections embossing powder i like it's um a vibrant embossing powder powder it's shiny 
and you can see your image really clear. So I do like the Recollections brand of embossing powder. It works really good. Um, another thing that, I mean, I bought, I think, well, I bought some of them in 2012, and then I bought some of them in 2011, but I found myself using a lot of twine. So I have, like, a lot of twine over there in my um, revolving spinner, but I do like twine. I didn't really get, I mean, I have washi tapes because I'm in the Studio Calco kits, but I'm not really a big washi tape person. I know everybody's going to, like, tear me up for saying that <laughs> but I you know I have it because I'm you know either I was erected or I just got it in a kit um one of the things that I also love is the Tim Holtz tiny attacher this thing you can like staple anything it's so cute it's little um it just adds just a little something to your pages so this is one of my top faves for 2012 also um I found myself getting, um, I jumped on the bandwagon <laughs> like everybody else did in, um, the roller date stamps. Um, everybody I think is like guilty of it. How many times have we really used them? But I think they're so cute. I did use them in my December deli and I hope to use a lot more of them for my 2013, um, projects. So, um, I had, I think, just about all of them that came out. Uh, my wonderful friend, Anika, got me the one from Target because my Target didn't have it. And we kind of just did, like, a swap because I, my had the Hello Kitty, like, my Michaels had the Hello Kitty. So, I picked that one up for her. So, um, I think I just about have all of them there. But, I love the roller date stamps. Another thing that I purchased in 2012, I brought this from uh, Melissa, who was Hearts 1217. Um, she was selling this at a crop that we went to and I love the Stampin' Up Scrubbing Scrub. Um, this is, they have like a wet side and a dry side. You just spray it, rub your stamps on here and then you just go and you dry it off. So I love this, especially when you have a lot of stamps out at one time. This is a great item to have. Oh, another item that I love is dyes. I think I have about four containers like this of dyes, the thin dyes. Um, I have them by MFT. Um, I have some by Paper Tray Ink. I have some by All That Scraps, um, Memory Box. And I also have some by Scrap Paper Ohio. So I love thin dyes like this. I mean, you could cut felt, paper, um, um, vellum anything I mean they're just really really good another thing that I love are these um dauber containers and a diver dauber sorry daubers I love these containers for my inks they are just a great thing to have if you are um a stamper and you like to ink things these storage containers and a dauber to go with them are a must have in your craft room Another thing that I love, I have bought several different um, stamp blocks, but my favorite are the ones these, the ones that fit your fingers. I love these particular um, stamp blocks. They're so cute, and they're just perfect. And then another one, the stamp press. I like this one. I also like the Martha Stewart. I have that one put away, and I just can't reach it at this time, but. I do love this Fiskars one, and I do like the Martha Stewart also. Um, another thing that I use that I was, like, really scared to use um, is my sewing machine. Let me back up here. I cannot say that I am a pro by any means at all. Um, I got this sewing machine, I would have to say, about... Um, four to five years ago my fiance bought it for me and I never used it until my December daily but I would have to say that I love this sewing machine and last but not least I love my project life so this is my project life setup I moved it from over there on my desk that I had it at to now it's sitting right in front of me so thank you so much for watching my video of my 20 
12 favorites. Bye-bye.